Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Welcome to Canon Fodder, the channel for Arsenal fans all over this world. It is an earlier than um, scheduled show. I did say actually yesterday I'll give you one in the morning. I've been very, very busy this morning. But I also said I'm doing one in the evening. I might be busy in the evening. So we've got one like smack right bang in the middle. We've got some news in regards to two, a double header. Is it supposed to be like um, two medicals happening within the next 48 hours? We might have some Romero, uh, Lavia news and some other transfer news that you might just be interested in. We're going to see you on the other side of this intro. Yes, uh, welcome back again to Canon for the TV. I'm making myself comfortable in this chair over here. It's been a, it's been an interesting and busy morning. Early doors, man. Six a.m. in the morning on my day off. It's not really a day off. And my school's actually, uh, they have decided to uh, strike some of the teachers. But um, we are here. We are live and direct from our studios. It's not studios. It's actually the kitchen. Oven plan kitchen, but you can help me build my own studio. No, no, I'm only joking. I'm only joking. But what I would like you to do. Is just click the like button it says it's somewhere down there just click the like button uh don't bother to subscribe i'm not really worried about it i'm just more concerned and uh I'm liking the fact that maybe you have an opportunity to come into the live chat come into the live chat and let me know your thoughts about uh romeo lavia uh yuri yuri uh timber and uh they can rice rice and peas please right so without further ado let's get into this one and i'm still trying to get used to this new platform here the lip the layout is is yeah it's interesting <laughs> it's very, very interesting so the first news segment that i need to get into is about um these two gentlemen here yeah you and timber and rice and peas uh please um we, we, as we understand it as as of today the 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 peer are due to have uh, a medical within the next 40 hours yeah, the uh, Finnish uh, line is finally in sight as the Gunners have uh, put the last touches onto more major signs in the summer spending spree. Declan Rice and Yuri Timber are due to undergo their medicals with Arsenal over the next 48 hours. The pair are closing in on moves uh, to uh, North London and will now take the Gunner spending to a whopping £200 million. Pounds. Yeah, man. Arsenal are set to pay an initial £100 million pounds to West Ham for uh, the captain of Declan Rice with a further five million pounds in add-ons. Now, Ajax defender Yuri Timber will cost Arsenal in the regions of 34.2 million pounds up front with a further 4.3 uh, in add-ons uh, to, to be paid off. And um, I, I'm just... All we can do is just wait. That's all we can do, just wait and wait and wait until... We get the news that they ha they've had their um, their medicals and they've passed their medicals. It'd be interesting though if one of two of them did not pass their medicals, or both of them did not pass their medical. What happens then if they don't pass their medicals? Still trying to get comfortable in this chair, man. Uh, yeah, yeah, it'd be very very interesting. I'm not sure what would happen about that. Yeah. Okay. Um, and the other news that I just try I managed to to not chop if I can find it. It's a uh, Romeo Lavia. Uh, uh, Liverpool and Arsenal on the same page of a Romeo Lavia transfer as Chelsea. Chelsea of all clubs could capitalise. I mean, what, what's going on here? I don't. I don't. I need to kind of click into this news statement. Like, what's going on here? So um, Romeo Lavia. Um, Southampton midfielder Romeo Lavia has attracted interest from Arsenal, Liverpool and Chelsea this summer following the Saints relegation from the Premier League. But Arsenal and Liverpool are unwilling, are unwilling to match um, Southampton's valuation of the midfielder, uh, opening the door for apparently Chelsea to potentially hijack the move. That's not going to happen. Lavia is expected to leave Southampton in the summer following their relegation from the Premier League. The teenager impressed uh, for the Saints after making the switch from Man City with his former teammates Theo Walcott hailing his mad potential. I'm a big fan of Walcott Toda Talk Sport uh, back in January. He's absolutely, obviously, had a few injuries, but he's coming back. He's young. He's what, 18, 19? 
when he's off the field. But when he's on the field, it's man. It's like he's played over 200 games in the Premier League. Now, that's how much I rate him. It's very interesting to see watching uh, him from the stands. Obviously, it looks so easy from the stands. It always does. Um, it'll be more money. It'll mean more money if we were to uh, think about buying uh, uh, Romeo Lavia. But um, with the imminent departure of the gentleman on the left, the gentleman on the right has actually left. The right shack has already gone to buy Leverkusen. But Thomas Party is still, for me, an anomaly. I'm not sure why we are happy or, or if it is true that's the first and most important thing is it true that Thomas Partey wants to leave or he's leaving Arsenal um, just noteworthiness that we've got Declan Rice it does, doesn't make any sense to me but then again you know what what do I know so in steps Moises Caicedo or Romero Lavia I know I was asked the question you know, would you like to have a which which midfielder would you like I said either one of them Either one of them. Um, to me, it makes no no sense that we're selling like three and we've only like bought two. It leaves us one short. You do the maths. The maths is quite easy, isn't it? So I'm, I'm, I'm not sure I understand what's going on there uh, with, with Arsenal. But yeah, th listen, there's still plenty more time in this uh, transfer window. Um, again, that's it. We have to wait and see for the next 48 hours when we're here and when we see the promo videos and the photos of... Deccan Rice, Rice Baby, yeah, and Yuri Dimba. And to be honest, I don't have any more new segments apart um, from from that. It's been a bit of a of a, a busy morning actually. And as we, as we're going live, I can still see I've got some messages coming from another project that I'm actually working on. Uh, so coming to live chat, you can see Carl is not even an Arsenal supporter. Doesn't support Arsenal. He supports Liverpool. Carl, good morning to you. Good morning. Good afternoon. I hope you are. Uh, also, like I said, um, you don't have to subscribe. Just click, click the like button. It says it's somewhere down here. Click the like button. Um, so what I'm going to do now, I, I can go into the poll. And the latest poll question, uh, let's have a look here. Let's have a look here. Was in regards to Granite Shaka. And the question was, uh, will you miss Shaka? Will you miss Shaka? Now, take me back a few years ago, 2019, when Granite Shaka, yellow cards, red cards, you know, which ended up conceding uh, goals against Arsenal and that we lost the games. And then he did what he did there in the stadium, told everyone to, and took off the shirt. And if I had taken the poll then, it would have been a completely different outcome compared to what we have here. Now, we have received 845 votes, 6 comments and 16 likes. And the question again is, will you miss Shaka? Choose only one. So it is a straight yes or a straight no. And I can tell you what, the 80% of the votes have said, yes, you will miss Granite Shaka. 20% have said, of course, they will not miss. I, 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 I am in the 20 percenters. Uh, I will not miss Granit Xhaka. Um, for me, he's not a legend. Maybe a fan favourite for the latter part of his career. Maybe one and a half seasons at Arsenal. But for the majority of his career, you know, I've, I've said it on so many occasions, I'm not his biggest fan. But what I am going to say, like I said on yesterday's show, I wish him all the best. He's now left in a £21 million deal. And I think for a 30-year-old, Granit Xhaka, good luck to him and his family. I hope he finds solace. I hope he, he, he finds happiness. And that's that's all she wrote. Uh, but would I miss him? I won't, I won't miss him. I won't miss him. Uh, so that is that. Uh, now, let me quickly go into the Twitter feed and see if we have uh, any retweets or no tweets or no tweets or whatever tweets. Let's have a look here. Uh, so, no, there's not been any uh, retweets that we are live and direct from the, the, the studios of Canon 4 TV. So now I can go into the live chat, me thinks. Let me just give some time to try and work this out because uh, the platform has changed, man. It's changed. Anyway, anyway, Carl, good afternoon to you. He says, uh, what's on Twitter? I saw you were live. Thank you for that. I told you Liverpool would buy uh, Dominic Sabah's light. No, you never. No, you never. You said that you would like Liverpool to buy Dominic Sabah's light. 
And I was thinking, well, why can't Arsenal? Why couldn't Arsenal two seasons ago? Arsenal had the opportunity to, to buy um, Sabo Sly. And, we, um, you know, as in a race, we're always the last, isn't it? Last off, you know, off the, the starting blocks and last through the, um, the, the checkered flag, as it were. But um, well done. You see? Link to a player. Boom. Get it done. What's this one? Uh, next uh, tip, Arsenal will get a Romero Lavia. Oh! Liverpool are trying to sign uh, Levi uh, Colwell uh, from Chelsea. I saw that actually yesterday. I saw it yesterday. Ah! Cricket is very interesting today. Yes, it is. I've been listening on the radio to it whilst I've been doing my work here. Well, I've been trying to do my work. But, uh, yeah. Um, Carl, your thoughts on what happened in the last test? Was it unsportsmanlike? Not for me. Not for me. You know what? It was within the rules. Unsportsmanlike, not in the spirit of the game. Sorry, mate. Now, the object is to win the game. By any means necessary, but within the rules of the game. So, um, Johnny Bairstow, I hear that he, he's, a, he's a very sociable person. He likes to go in the middle of the pitch and have a conversation. He can't dictate when the over, when the over is over. Yeah. Anyway, so what is it? It's like 130 odd for five. Come on, you Aussies. Anyway, uh, with that level, Arsenal is now. Uh, we won't miss him much. Won't miss him. I won't miss him. Boyd, good afternoon. Uh, says uh, I think EPL next season is not ready for the red hot Arsenal midfield. Let me screenshot that. <laughs> I understand what you're saying. I do understand. But you've got to take in, into consideration that we are not sure what's going to happen to our Thomas Party. Is Thomas Party leaving? or it, What's happening with, with Thomas Party? He's kind of like the guy who makes things work. But if he's going to be leaving Arsenal, it won't work in the midfield. But I understand your sentiments. Uh, about time uh, you liked uh, my... <laughs> Cheating like the West Indies used to. We, we listen. We never cheated. Never cheated. It's just that you know certain teams couldn't handle the fearsome foursome, the fearsome foursome or fivesome. And I didn't realize uh, Andy Roberts. I'm not sure how far back you go, Carl, in, in you know in Test uh, cricket. I didn't realize that Andy Roberts is he's rated uh, the the seventh fastest uh, uh, bowler at 57 miles per hour. And I can't remember who was number one. I think the number one was, um, uh, what was it, a Pakistani fastball. I can't remember his name. But, uh, not cheating. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? Uh, your brother uh, told a while ago about your cricket uh, loyalties. <laughs> <laughs> so we just stick to football. Let's stick to football, man. <laughs> listen to because i think they're about to go for lunch now anyway i want to yeah i want to listen to the cricket um what else is there <laughs> oh, me laugh. Uh, please keep uh holding uh he's a uh, he's terrible oh ho, 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 ho. oh god gotta get used to this 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 thing here man uh captions there we go there we go I've got to change. I've got to change this. I've got to change this. Oh, my God. Right, there we go. Um, right. Uh, I believe we are finished over here. <laughs> oh, you make me laugh, man. You make me laugh. So, on the day that we find out Arsenal, um, of course, the last um, hurdle, as it were, we come up to the penultimate uh, r lap uh, in regards to these two players. Declan Rice Rice, past the peas. And Yuri, Yuri Dimba are due to have their medicals very, very soon completed. And I ask that question, what were to happen if Declan Rice failed his medical? What would happen then? God forbid. God forbid. Anyway, I will try and be back a later on this evening, but I'm not going to make any promises because later on this evening I've got I'm going to be very, very busy with my daughter. And, um, yeah, we'll have to wait and see. But if, if, if I am back, 
be prepared for for fireworks <laughs> well, i'm not sure for fireworks for, for, for fireworks but there will be fireworks uh, definitely i'm going to be watching a cricket anyhow just remember that this has been canon fodder the channel for arsenal fans all over this world